another Lions memory. Next week, Ian McGeekin will lead the Lions coaching team for the fourth time in what will be his seventh tour as coach and player. He's had quite an impact. Ian McGeekin's played on two tours, coached on four tours, and now again on his fifth tour as a coach. And I mean, he lives and breathes Lions rugby. He knows what it takes. A man that has all the qualities that, 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 that sum up being uh, what a Lion is all about and, and just tremendous enthusiasm and passion for, for the, the Lions. And I remember one instance that, you know, before that second test that one or two players were just going to go out for, for a quiet drink and re relax. And he had no problem with that. Because I think ultimately he knew that you weren't going to abuse that trust that he put in you. But Ian had gone to South Africa to watch the South Africans playing against the All Blacks, and he'd lived with the All Blacks for a fortnight. By the time we had gone to um, South Africa, Ian realised that the game revolved around Henry Honnibal. Maybe the best 10 in the world at that point. We nullified him, really, in the two games, his attacking game. We nullified it, we took his options away. They dropped him after the second test, and they put Jeanne de Beer in. Yes, we were a good group of guys and we were close and we were committed, but we had a strategy that really worked. And that was a big, a big part of us winning the series, and that was Geach. Ian did a fantastic job in working out how they played. He also did a very good job in working out the kind of players we needed.